Let's go here. Man, I'm gonna have to come up with another name when I finish this one. I'm so bad with names. Okay, now I can shoot, right? Yeah. Let's go. There we go. It's really pretty, the figure, like the figures you can get when you do this. Like it loops around. Whee! There we go. Wait, I've already been there? Oh, apparently I've already been here. Have I been to that? The tower thing. Yes, I have, okay. Been to the tower thing, been to the pyramid. Okay, can I activate this by shooting it? Okay, there we go, yeah. Alright. I wonder how much the puzzles on all the different... On all the different stars or planets or whatever these are. I wonder how much the puzzles differ. Because so far it looks like the basic mechanics are kind of the same where you like pick up pieces for your tool. But the stuff you actually have to do appears to be different. I don't know, I mean, like, is this game randomly generated? Okay, here we go. Let's move this. Boom. Let's mark these. Alright, so we're turning these things on again. Same sort of thing. Pillars of Neil. And there does appear to be some sort of a story, as we saw. There's some sort of an end goal. What was it? The the anomaly? But where are the last ones? Hello? My light shafts have probably disappeared at this point. Oh, here we go. Are those the last ones? Yes. Okay. Place down some markers. And switches back. Here we go. Should be something here, right? Yep. Alright, yeah, I'm starting to deconstruct this thing again. And then now I need to power that up. So I need to switch us back to the light side. 
Sands, it appears to be solar powered. So let's go opposite to the sun. Now losing power, losing power, gaining power. Okay, here we go. Starting to connect. Needs to connect to something. Not exactly sure what. Mm, losing power again. It needs to connect with that, um... That portal on the ground. But I don't know exactly where it is. Is it this that it needs to connect with? Connected at some point. It's starting to snap to things. There we go, okay. And now we're gonna join back up again, aren't we? Or no, we do this. Alright, so this is basically the same as the first one that I did. Alright, what did I do here? I believe... I went back here... Followed them, and at the end, there was something. Right? It would pulse into existence? Alright, so it's not here. Let's follow the next one. Let's follow this one. Okay, here we go, yeah. Yep, now it is in orbit, and I followed in its wake, and it lifted something up. Oh, here we go, there it is. Takes another piece, there we go, and now what? Need to go somewhere. Let's go here. Might have misjudged where I was aiming. Yes, I think I did. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Okay, back around for another try. Where am I at? I can't rotate it. I can't. I really can't tell where I'm pointed. Okay, there I am. Okay, there we go. So I think I need to point there. I really wish I could look up. Okay, here we go. Alright, gotta do it this way. Boom. Okay, so it's the same text, even. Yeah, that's the same text. Despite my growing comprehension of her work, who who is her? And what is her work? Every configuration on Cometable Plan seems like a random model grafted onto a problem that is too complex. Hmm. I, f 
feel like I might have just resolved the first planet. Like, I'm not even sure. Yeah, because wasn't that an unnamed planet and I didn't get the ability to name it? Which makes me think that, yeah, it is. Like, now this is pointed at Xerxes again. I don't think I know how to use this. If that happens again, I guess I'll just go back here by pressing escape. I need to figure out how to use this. Mm, okay, so now this thing works again. For some reason. I don't know why. Nope, gotta put... Nope, 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 nope. There we go. And then... No, that button doesn't work. What does that button do? Okay, this should work, right? No, gotta flip it. Okay. Wait, is this the same place again? It says side A complete. Escape to navigation. What? But no, didn't I switch to side B? This isn't the same thing, is it? I think this is the same thing. How do I... I'm not doing this right. Alright, I want to go here. I, I have no idea what this does. I don't even know if it does anything. It moves that up and down. It changes its text. But that's about it. And this button seems to turn off the music. And this button seems to turn off the ambience. Hmm. Okay, what if I put it in there? No, for this to work, it needs that. What if I just press this button now? No, no, now it's going back to the main place again. Um, isn't it? Isn't this Xerxes? This is Xerxes again. What the heck? So that's gotta be in there to do this. Gotcha. Now I'm pointed at it. Oh, well, look at that one go by. Oh wait, they're actually all going by now that I look at it. Everything's moving. Okay. I'm aimed at it. Hey, look at this number. It's getting smaller. What happens when it reaches zero? This number's getting smaller, too. Actually, all of these are getting smaller. I'm really curious what happens when that reaches zero. use this. Okay, that says B. That says A. A side is complete, so I need the B side, right? Yeah, this says A side 95%. B, 3%. Not exactly sure what that means. Okay, zero. Oh. I guess it just undoes itself. No, no, no. B-side. Hold on. No text down there. B. And it's pointing to the planet that I'm aimed at. It's 
So this is B-side. I don't I don't want this. I want this. Look, that says A question mark question mark. When it's plugged over here, it says B. So that's B. I'm aimed at B. I'm set to B. So let's go. I feel like I should be doing this though, because that points to something and seems to lock onto it, but let's try this. Now it looks like I'm pointing back to the main planet. Wait a minute, no, this seems different. This definitely looks different, I think this is different. Yeah, this is not Xerxes. Okay, I guess that's how it works. That's weird though, because you're not locking onto a target. Not really. Man, this, is, this really is a game that you can just chill out to. It's so relaxing. Just the music and the... Something about the very simple, very clean look of it. Oh man, this thing can fire really fast. Alright, let's put this to use. Where's the planet? Or the moon, or the star, or whatever. I'm just going to call everything a planet. There you are. Oh, I think I... Wait, is this where I started? No, this is... I just activated something. Okay, well, I believe I am... Where am I? I think I'm at that thing on the bottom of the planet. I think this is the thing on the bottom of the planet. I can't aim at that to shoot it, though, to check it. I can only shoot in the center of the planet. Alright, there's a bunch of other stuff here. I just need to find it. It's kind of following the... Oh. It's kind of following the wake here. Maybe something's going to rise up like it did before. Okay, there's something. Okay, now I can rotate it. Okay. So, have I been here? Yes, that's where I just got it from. I've been there, just activated it. It's good to go. Have I been there? Whoa, what was that? You see them all go crazy? All those little lines? Is that a bug or intentional? I don't know, but either way, it's beautiful. Hold on, does it come from this? No, it's, it's if I shoot off to the side, and then I go back to the planet, and then move it around. Look at that. I don't know what's happening. It's something about their pathfinding. Let's do more of that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. It's like it's drawing on the screen with light. I think it might be a bug, but I don't even care. It's a beautiful bug that shouldn't be fixed. Okay, what was I doing? Um, where's that? How long does that stay for? Not very long. Not very long at all. Like, five seconds or less. Unfortunately. It's gonna make it hard to find.
Alright, so I've been there, I've been to the pyramid. How many other things are there? Is it just that? I think it's just that. Alright, it's about to go behind this, or in front of the sun, though. Might change things, maybe. I wish I could stop it from moving. Maybe it'll give me something else to mark. Let's watch it. I've got to be quick, though. Mm. No, there's nothing else. Alright, well, if I go to my right... The tower thing should be over here. Yep, here it is. I've, I've probably already been here, though. No, I have not. Bingo. What just happened? Oh, that's... Oh, wow. That was it. Oh god, now I need to come up with another name. Oh god, I'm so bad with names. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I think I'm just gonna name all the stars after video game characters. Yep, that's pretty much my current plan. Because I'm not very good at naming things, and that just seems to make the most sense. And I've got a big list, too, so I'm not going to have to stop- I'm not gonna have to stop in the future. Okay, um... Let's name this one- okay, I just finished Cognition. So, let's name this one Reed. After Erica Reed. I think Reed sounds kind of cooler and more mysterious than Erica. Okay, yeah, Reed. Done. There it is, Reed. So where's Xerxes? Where is Xerxes? How does this... I don't know how this works. Like, this... This home button now takes me here. I didn't just rename Xerxes to read, did I? Oh, no, no, there it is. Xerxes. Okay, cool, cool. Ooh, let me check off that I used read. There we go. Okay, well. Still says B3%. And A95. Alright, let's do another B, I guess. Let's do a really tiny one. All the way at the bottom, like I was going to do before. Faster, faster, faster. Let's go all the way to the bottom left. Or does it just keep scrolling infinitely? It probably just keeps scrolling infinitely. I'm guessing. Or... No, it doesn't. Okay, okay. Bottom left one. All the way on the bottom left. At least that's the bottom left right now. I suppose if I rotated it, it would be completely different, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, and then I just... Nope, oh, needs to be in the other slot. There we go. Why did it... It looks like I'm going back to read. It just, like, teleported me all the way back. Isn't this the same? Isn't this back to read? I'm pretty sure this is Reed. I don't understand how this works. I'm so confused. I like the fact that the game doesn't have a tutorial. And it just kind of leaves you to try to figure out this strange machine. However, I think if this I think if the function of this machine was a little bit more clear, that uh, it would be nice. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom left, because that's going to take way too long for something that's probably just going to fail again, so let's just go to the star right next to me. If I can. B. Okay. S even though I'm targeted on this one, it says I'm going to go back to read. Why? Okay, this doesn't change that. That doesn't change that. Okay, what if I switch that back? Now we're back to A. It says question mark. Why does it say question mark? I 
How could I not know where I'm going? I don't get it. Okay, what the heck? Let's do it. Where's it going to take me? Side A complete. Yeah, at A 95%. I don't understand. So doing A is pointless because it's done. Although it says 95%, not 100%, but whatever. 3%. Alright. Alright, you pick somewhere. And you swap this to the B slot, and it says I'm going back to read. Why? How do I go somewhere else? It just flips off lights. Am I not done on read? I mean, it teleported me off, so that means I'm done, right? I mean, I named it. Seems pretty freaking done to me. Okay, I'm gonna be back when I figure this out. Achievement unlocked eco-friendly. What? I don't even know what I did, I just clicked a bunch of stuff. And nothing's, st still nothing's working, but I somehow I got an achievement. Maybe it's an achievement for clicking so many things? I don't know. Alright, well somehow in all of my clicking and after that achievement, now it's actually going to take me to the place that I'm aimed at, and I don't even know what I did. What did I do? It says it's going to go to B, H, U, Y. Before it was stuck on read. Now it's actually going to take me there, but what did I do? Now this is one potential problem when you have a very abstract game like this. Is that when something like this happens, now I don't know whether I just didn't know how to do this properly because of how abstract and strange everything is. You know, I wasn't pressing the right button. Or if it's a bug, I don't know. Because everything's so abstract. That's not to say I don't appreciate how abstract and strange everything is. I actually love it. Like, look at this, actually. This is how you, like, let's say right now I wanted to quit, or go to the main menu. You can just, like, mash the escape button to get there, but if you want to do it the really, really cool way, look at this. Is that cool or what? And then you go back in. And you come back to your console, and it's like you've... It's like you're looking at a computer within a computer, right? I'm sitting in front of my computer in the real world, but now within this computer game, I've entered... I'm sitting, or standing, or whatever, in front of another computer console, and everything's all shut down. So you come in, and you gotta turn your workstation on. So, blip, comes to life, and then flip. There we go, everything is back up and running. And now I guess we're gonna see if I can get, get it to go somewhere again. Oh god, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, please, please go here. Okay, it's actually gonna go there. Maybe it was just bugged. All right, let's go. Okay, this is a new place. Yes, it is. I have never seen that before. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I have a piece of pepper stuck in my throat that I just bit down on. Oh boy. Ah, if you've ever if you've ever bit down on a chunk of pepper, it's um it's intense. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, follow the noise. I think it's over here. Oh, oh, there we go. All 
Alright, it's emanating from here. Oh, wait a minute. This place is broken, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. It's broken. Alright, let's follow these. Follow one of them. Okay, that just ends. Let's follow the one next to it. Here we go. Okay. And that allows me to... What is that one? That's the move one, right? Where I can lock and drag? Where's... Where is it? There it is. Okay. Gotta find the sun here. Wherever it is... Where is it? I mean, it, okay, there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, there's light, so there has to be one, right? Alright, that one just ends. I believe there's one over here. Yeah, something over here that I think just appeared. Now that I've switched it over to night. Here we go. Is this it? Oh, I think. Yeah, I think I need to wait for it to pulse, right? Or no, I've already been here. Okay. All right, I can see myself on the top of the planet. Where else can I go? Where have I been? Have I been to that thing on the top right? And what's that dot? What is that dot out there on the right? That's weird. I think I should go there. The dot should be somewhere this way, I think. I'm probably going to miss it. It looked really small. And I'm not sure about my aim. Oh wait, was this the dot? No, no. I don't think so. Oh god, where's the planet gone? Where is it? Okay, there's the dot. No, it's not the... No, that was not the dot. Where am I? I can't even see myself on this thing. Okay, there we go. Okay, the dot's behind me? I'm totally gonna miss it again. There's the dot. And I am. I am. Somewhere that's not going to appear before the dot disappears. Damn it. Okay, let's try this. Come on. Come on. I'm probably heading in totally the wrong direction now. Where are you? Nah, I've already missed it. Whatever. Maybe it's a graphical glitch. I don't know. Alright, so where have I not been? I've been to the broken thing. I've probably been to that tower thing, but maybe I haven't. Alright, let's so wait for this to come around. Let's try for that tower thing. If I can figure out where I am before it disappears. Okay. 
Okay, good. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to figure out where I am. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Shouldn't be too hard. How do how am I missing everything? I might be better like instead of trying to figure out where I am, it might be better if I just randomly run around until I find something. Because I seem to be really bad at aiming where to go. Let's do that. Let's just go around randomly. Okay, there we go. Look, I found it. Wait, is that it? Oh, that... Wow. That was fast. Okay. Um, let's name this one April. Yep. After April Ryan from the Longest Journey series. Boom. Okay. It still says B, 3%. Why? Shouldn't that be going up? I don't know. I don't know how to, like, progress the story. Alright, let's see if I can properly go to this one. See, now it wants to go back to April. I don't think that's a bug. I think I just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just don't know what I'm doing. That doesn't do anything. Alright, now I'm aimed at A again, but again, it's going to go to question mark. And it says 95% done, and if I actually go... I believe it's just going to say A side done, right? And it's going to take me back to... Xerxes? Side A complete? Yeah, this is the first... I don't think this is Xerxes, but... No, this is not Xerxes, but this is the first one I started at. What the heck? How did I... get it to work? It wants to go back to April. This doesn't do anything other than messes with these things up here. And it lowers a number, lowers and raises it. Setting it, getting it to be the lowest number, though, doesn't seem to make any difference. There's Xerxes. This button doesn't seem to do anything. It, like, when you press it, it disappears and it makes a noise. And this thing, this name up here will flash like this. But that's it. It doesn't seem to do anything else. I thought maybe that button would be like submitting the coordinates to travel to, but no. Like, do I need to find a major... planet for A? It still says question mark and it's still going to take me to the same place. Like, are there key planets? Blister. Okay, that's a named one. Is that going to make any difference, the fact that it's named? Doesn't seem like it. See, and now, now that I've done a bunch of stuff, now I can't... I can't move this back to the B side, and I don't know why. Like, now it's forcing me into A, but why? Okay, let's go. It's not going to go there, though, is it? Side A complete. And it's the same place, right? Nothing... I mean, I could just resolve it, right? Isn't that not going to do anything? I'm so confused. I don't get it. I might need to look up a walkthrough to figure out how to use this machine. What am I missing? What if I quit and come back? Is I going to make the B work? I, but I seriously don't think it's a bug. Like, let's see if that will make it so I can actually set a B coordinate. No, it still wants to go back to April. What did I do that one time? I clicked a bunch of stuff and then it worked. I 
don't get it. What if you choose a one really far away? What if we rotate? Let's mess everything up. No, it's still April. What if... Okay, hold on. What if... This is like a data chip, right? Or something? I can put it into this slot, and that's connected to the button. This button makes a name flash. Maybe I need to load the information into the data chip? Haven't I been doing that, though? Okay. Tell. T-E-L. 57. There's the info. Flipping this around will make these numbers change. Maybe I need to get the numbers to the lowest setting? 350. That makes all these cylinders up here level if you see if, if it's suboptimal. Some of these will be like lowered and stuff. That's optimal. It's aimed. Now maybe this button loads it. And then I switch it? No, it still says April. Ah. Maybe it's the reverse? That wouldn't make any damn sense. Because when I switch it to this slot, it goes back to A. Which makes me think this isn't just a thing to load information onto. But it's... I, I don't get it. I don't get it. What am I missing? Okay, what if I do the same but the reverse, right? We're here. This is optimal. Press the button. Then switch it. No. I didn't do anything. I'm missing something. I pressed something when I was fumbling with the controls. I made this work. And now I've lost it. I need, to I need to load data or something. I mean, it's obvious that's what I need to do. This seems to, like, send data. It even sounds like it's, you know, a modem connecting. It's obviously about data transfer, and we have all this data here. And this changes... stuff. But how do I get it to work? I feel like I'm missing something super obvious. Again, I like the abstraction and the weirdness and the how you're not handheld. But I'm sorry, this needs to be more clear. Because this is seriously hampering my enjoyment of the game. It's really frustrating. Looking at this machine and trying to figure out how it works should be an enjoyable, fascinating experience. And it was at first, but now it's just frustrating. Because now it's a huge blockage to me actually being able to do anything. All I can do is fiddle with the freaking switches. Which I have to admit, it's beautiful. I love these switches. But still, I'd like to do something other than just stare at the switches and flip them. <sighs> what if I have it on the B side and have that on the A side and then press go? What happens? It doesn't even work. Yeah, if you want to do the A side, you need it on the A side, like this. Makes sense. If you want the B side, you gotta have it on the B side. Or, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I seriously think I'm going to have to look up a walkthrough. I think I will. I think I'm going to have to. This is ridiculous. This is really disappointing, but I don't see any other way around this. 
I can either beat my head against this for another hour or actually get past it and actually, you know, enjoy the game. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna look up a walkthrough. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I looked up some guides and... Frankly, the guides didn't help me very much, but I messed around a bit more and actually finally figured out what the heck to do. I believe I'm going to arrive at my destination in four seconds, I think. Okay. You don't... I, I don't know if this is just really confusing to me or if it's just confusing in general, but you're not teleporting to locations. You're traveling to them in a spaceship. There's actual travel time, and this affects how much fuel you use, which decides how fast you go or not. When you press this, basically when you have this in the right slot, and you press this down on a target, you start to travel towards it, and you need to wait. Then once you arrive at it, which I just did, then you can go down to the planet. Somehow, um, this... There we go, yes. Right side is travel. So you go the right side, you aim at something, and you flip this down, and you go there. Then left side is how you get down to it. Now look, B-H-Y-U. Okay. So that's how you do it. And you have fuel, as you can see here. This just decides how much of it you want to use. You can use the smallest amount possible, a medium amount, or highest amount possible. And apparently by doing the puzzles on the planets, you gain more fuel, which will allow you to go faster. Yep. That was incredibly unclear, because my ship, I guess my ship moved so slow that I didn't even see that it was moving. I mean, I get that, that like, now I see how this, the view is like zooming out, right? It's like, your sp it's like your spaceship is now in motion. But for some reason that didn't click. I never got a, a clear sense of movement, like, there's some... I'm not gonna take all the blame for this. Oh, wow, look. Oh, look at that, I'm looking sideways now. Whoa! Upside down! Oh my god! Whoa. I'm not gonna take all the blame for this, alright? I mean, I know I mess up a lot, I have a bad memory, and I often don't see the things right in front of my face. But... I'm not taking all of the blame for this. This needs to be better. Because when I looked up guides, there were other people saying the same thing as me, like, how do I do anything? They didn't know what the hell, like this. Side A. What is side A? Apparently, it's like a tutorial. It's like the tutorial level, so as soon as you finish that, you never want to go back to it ever, I think. Do you have any reason to know that? At all? No. Like, I thought A was maybe an important thing that I needed to do. I thought maybe A was, like, A side is the story missions, B side is, like, random missions, right? Side quests. Nope. At least I don't think so. So, yeah, this needs to be more clear. It really does. I like abstractness. I like how you have to figure everything out on your own. But just some more things would have made this clearer. Something that indicated to me that this was traveling. Anything to indicate to me that this was causing my ship to move. I don't know. More effects. More effects zooming past me so it looks like I'm actually moving. Something on the screen to indicate that my ship was moving. I didn't even realize that my ship was moving when I pressed this. So yes. This needs to be worked on. I, I don't like this. I don't like how it was executed. I like the idea here. I really, really, really like the idea here. I love the fact that it's all kind of like in-universe. There's no HUD or anything. You can do this and go back to the menu. And they'll go back in and then you have this cool workstation. You gotta start it up. Flip, 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 flip. It's like you're turning on a workstation. You know, it's like you've just woken up in your spaceship and you're turning everything on. That is really, really cool. I love this. I love the fact that you can like click on everything and just watch it go and do stuff. It's really cool. But the execution leaves quite a bit to be desired. Because I just spent like a half hour beating my head against a wall trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do here to even play the game. That's not good. Okay, but now we're past it, and now I know how it works, so let's go. Left slot is to do stuff. And... go.
Okay. Oh my, look at that move. Oh, this is very different. Orbits within orbits. I just love the way that twists around. It looks so cool. Okay, where am I going? Let's go there, assuming that's not where I just went. Actually, where did I just go? Is that where I just went? No, it's not. Okay, trying to hit a moving target is not going to work. I'm just going to I'm just going to go around randomly because that'll be faster than trying to hit it while it's moving. Okay, there's my weak lights. Here's this. Have I been here? No. I just did something. Sounds like it's reverberating. Alright, I can see them flashing. Really does seem like they're reverberating. But what did that do? Must have, like, started something up, I would... Oh. I would think. Well, that's not gonna last long. Nope. Okay, here we go. Wait, is that the end of it? Damn, these are really quick. Okay. Um, another star. Let's call this one... Oh, I didn't check April off. Um, let's call this one Zoe. Named after Zoe Castillo from The Longest... Uh, not The Longest Journey, Dreamfall. And the upcoming Dreamfall chapters. Boom. Alright, so I believe this percentage here... Uh, this 4%. Or is that actually 004%? Um, given how many there are, it's probably 004%. I mean, there's a zero there, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course that's 004%. What the hell am I thinking? I mean, it's got to end in 100%, right? So of course there's three digits. Anyway, I believe that is how many of the planets or stars or whatever are named. So I'm progressing this by naming these, and anyone else who names them will also progress that percentage, I think. So I don't think this is necessarily my own progress, but more like the progress of the season. I'm using the newest season. Alright, let, well, let's keep doing some. Alright, so let's test this out. So right should travel, right? This is going to change how long it's going to take me to get there. I think that's the time. So at maximum power, it's going to take me a minute and 30. Okay, let's get going. Or, no, actually, that can't be seconds. That's... Oh, no, that yeah, that's the time. That's the... What is that? I don't know. Whatever. So you can see I'm traveling. And the only thing to indicate that is the fact that this icon is barely moving. And also this little orb thing has a... A trail behind it. I guess you can see that the stars are moving. Yeah. Very slowly, though. Apparently that's supposed to be, like, my exhaust or something. I don't know, it's really subtle. It needs to be more clear that I'm moving. Well, we've got 48 seconds, so let's mess up our view. Let's get it upside down again. 
There we go. <laughs> uh, how much time do I have left? I can't read upside down. That says 30... Tw tw is that 20? Yeah, 26. What? <laughs> oh wow, if you um, turn that off, it actually makes really clear which planets you've been to and which ones you haven't. The light ones I have been to. I think. Yeah. Three seconds. And... And we're there. Okay, now everything makes sense, doesn't it? So these are ones I've been to, right? Xerxes, Zoe, yeah. Okay, so you definitely want to pick ones close to you. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to get there. So my plan of going all the way to the corner of the solar system, at least the corner from my perspective, before rotating it, um, is terrible. Actually, if I did that, how long would it take? Let's, I'm not going to do it, but let me, let's go all the way to the corner. Come on, come on. At maximum power, at least with my current very low amount of fuel, it would take about 10 minutes. Nope. Alright, new planet. Oh, oh gotta ch check off Zoe. There we go. Um, flip this over. And, okay, we're good to go. New planet. A lot of these are really, really quick to do. Wait a minute, is that it? Is that the end? Uh, like you grab the orb and it gives you fuel. Is that? Wow. Okay. <laughs> so it says an exploration. What was it like? An exploration? Uh, I forgot what it said. Exploration-based puzzle game or something like that. And it seems almost like the travel itself is a part of the puzzle. Sometimes you go somewhere and there isn't even really a puzzle, as you just saw. There was no puzzle. You just walked over to the orb. You know, like planted a flag or whatever took the fuel, I think that gives you fuel, collecting that orb, and you're done. So it seems like part of the greater mystery might be getting everything to 100%. Through not just your own work, assuming you're running in the multiplayer mode and not doing your local game, which I'm not, I'm doing multiplayer. Um, so not just on your own work, but with others as well. So the number should progress, even if I'm not doing anything because of other people. But then what happens when it gets to 100%? I don't know. This isn't a... Like, the way this game is set up, it doesn't seem like you can basically complete it on your own. At least not practically. I mean, if you actually went to every planet, it would take you forever. On your own. So if you're doing a local game, you could do that, but that would be crazy. It seems like it's intended. It's intended to be a multiplayer experience. Where other people complete it. The sort of thing where you complete some of it. You just, you know, you have your own little journey, and then you come back to it later and see how things have changed. So this is definitely going to have to be something I come back to. But for now, let's keep going. Uh, let's call this one... Uh, Lonnie. After Lonnie from Gone Home. I think that's how you spell Lonnie, isn't it? L-O-N-I. Alright, let's travel... Right here. It's pretty close. Actually, did that give me fuel? Seems really low. Wait, does that say five minutes? Is that... Is that... Is that seriously going to take me five minutes? Um... Is there any way to... Maybe you're not meant to, like... Play this game for a long period of time. Maybe you're meant to wait for your fuel to regenerate. Which it does, by the way. It does regenerate very slowly on its own. What if I go back down to the planet's surface? Can I grab the orb again? Get more fuel? Like, does that give me fuel? Hmm. I don't think so. That... <laughs> that doesn't look like it did anything. Actually, I think that might have made things worse. 
Wasn't that five minutes? Now it's almost seven. Uh, what? Okay, let's use maximum fuel. That is actually going to take me six minutes. Okay, since I'm so low on fuel, I think this might be time to call it a day for now and come back and see if maybe the percentage has progressed. People have done some more work, and by the time I come back, I'm guessing my fuel is probably going to be maxed. I'm hoping your fuel regenerates when you're not playing. I don't know. So far, I'm very much intrigued by this game. I think it's beautiful. I love that it's a kind of abstract, bizarre, puzzle, adventure, exploration game. Kind of somewhat in the same vein as Cairo. I really like that. I like those sorts of games. Um, I don't... I don't like how obtuse, I guess is the right word, maybe, this whole control scheme was. But now that I know it, it's not a big deal. It's just that, that initial period of being confused and not knowing how the heck it works. In the very beginning, it was fun. Flipping switches and trying to figure out how things work. Great. After a half hour of trying to figure out how it works and not being able to figure it out, and since you can't figure it out, you can't play the game, that wasn't interesting. That was just frustrating. And it could have been very easily solved by some very simple things, just to indicate that you're traveling when you press this down. Something to indicate that the right slot is traveling, and the left slot is going down to the planet. Something to indicate what the A-side is. That the A-side is a tutorial planet or something like that. Just something to indicate what this stuff is, somehow. Would have been nice. So that, that was a major problem, but I'm over that stumbling block, so... That's good. It's just a very... Uh, well, aside from the frustrations, <laughs> it's a very relaxed and very chill sort of... sort of game. Like, you can just get into it and just kind of wander around strange alien planets. And just look at the interesting shapes and stuff. It's a very relaxed game. I like that. There's not a lot of games I play that are like that. I'm kind of worried about... I'm kind of worried that exploring these different planets is not going to be particularly interesting. After a while, because so far, most of the planets I've gone to have had either puzzles that are very, very similar to stuff I've done before, or puzzles that, well, don't even exist, as in the case of that one planet where I just walked forwards and that was it. So... The game is about exploring these different planets, but I'm kind of worried that it's not going to really be interesting for very long. I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm hoping that it won't get dull, but I really suspect it will, just based on what I've seen so far. I don't know. So yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm... Wary? Is that the right word? Weary? Wary? I think it's wary. Like, I'm, I'm worried that this game isn't going to be terribly interesting in the longer term. I'm worried that it's not going to really work. But I'm also very much intrigued. And I really like a lot of what I've seen so far. You know what? Let's, um... I'm gonna cut here, and when I come back, it'll be three minutes will have elapsed. And let's check out one last planet. Let's see if it's any you know, significantly different from the others. So I'll be right back. All right, we are almost there. And in the interim, I actually thought of uh, a very simple idea. I was thinking of what what could have, um, what cues could the game have given me that would have made it clear that I'm actually traveling when I press this button? And I realized, you know what would have worked? Let's wait for us to get there, two seconds. What would have worked is some sort of an engine sound. Like, imagine you flip it, and you hear something like whir up, you know, like zzzz, like that, you know? And then once you get there, it goes zzzz, and it shuts down, right? Some sort of an engine sound, combined with more stuff, more, oh god, <laughs> more stuff moving around you when you're moving would have made that clear. It would have been so simple, so simple. It would have required so little, and it would have made the purpose of that clear. And I'm guessing, knowing that, everything else probably would have fallen into place. Well, most things would have fallen into place. 
Apparently no one knows what the heck this button does. Seriously, I looked and no one seems to know what it does. It makes weird noises. Maybe it's an extra button that the developers can add a functionality to sometime in the future if they choose to? I don't know. Anyway, we're here. Let's see if this planet's any different. Oh, I think this is just another... Hit that and you're done. Okay, hold on, let me go backwards and see if there's anything else on this planet. I don't think so, I'm just gonna hit it with my back. At some point, here. I think? Uh, oh god, have I gotten lost? Um, what? Apparently a straight line is... N oh no, there we go, okay. <laughs> it's just very, very big. Yeah, I like, I don't... I don't think that's going to be interesting for very long. A lot of these just don't even have puzzles. Maybe it's the bigger planets, or the bigger stars, or whatever they are. It says name your star. Um, maybe the bigger stars have puzzles, the smaller ones don't? I don't know, this is a small... Lonely little star, so let's call it Lonely. Um, there's one right next to me. Maybe I should do another. What's the travel time for that one? Does that say zero seconds? Mm, looks like there's two travel times. That's weird. Wait, the travel... Wait, what? The travel time to this one is 22 seconds. The travel time to this one is a minute. What? Why does the one that looks further away take less time? I don't understand. Okay, let's try one more. Let's try a big one. Alright, nice and fast. I think I used my fuel on max, though, which was probably irresponsible with my fuel, but who cares? And we're there. Okay. No, even the big one is just a... Touch it and you're done, really? That's so weird. I mean, I could see that being kind of relaxing. Just traveling around, just waiting for... Waiting to get to the next star and then just naming it, but... I want to do more. Alright, I'm running out of names here. Well, this planet's big, so I'm going to ironically title it Tiny. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think I will end it there. I think I've done my duty. I have discovered, or named, completed, how many? One, two, three. Let's just go through them. There's Tiny, Lonely, Lonnie, Zoe, Xerxes, Reed, and April. I think that's all of them? Yeah, it's gotta be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've made a little, like, Z pattern here. A little zigzag. I have contributed to the season. What happens at the end of the season? I don't know. Okay. Well, I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon and see what the heck happens next time I come in.